Another beautiful morning. There is a little bit of snow. It is March 26th, going on to the 27th, and it is 32 degrees in beautiful Chicago weather. As you can see, it's gray outside, and there was a little bit of snow, and gosh, I I hate this. You know, what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so, can't wait to move out, but uh, it's not like I can right now. I have no idea when I'll be able to move out of this state. A lot of people from Chicago want to move out, but you never know. Maybe next year, maybe two years from now, but it'd be, be really nice to move out. Somewhere warm. I just want somewhere warm. So, today we are discussing cryptocurrency. That's right, everybody. My name is Michael, and I welcome you to today's video because I'm very excited. Coming in early this morning, Bitcoin doing pretty well. Ethereum doing pretty well. We're over $2 trillion since two days ago. Pretty well. Pretty good. There we go. <laughs> so, what's going on? What's going on with Bitcoin? Is it going to be a good year? We don't know. But, well, the sentiment is most definitely here. Which is always a good thing. You know, you, you can never complain. Although in cryptocurrency, you never know. One little event can suddenly turn everything the wrong way. People were getting a little concerned because there was a Bitfinex whale. That's the exchange where all the whales go. Yeah. So there was some longs, whatever, and this Bitcoin whale purchased at 32K and started putting up some walls above 45. So everybody's saying, you know, we're going to hit 45 and then we're going to hit down. And maybe that will be the case. But right now, we're holding steady and there's a lot of money. There's a lot of institutional money as well. And another thing is when we take a look at the amount of financial advisors that are allowing their clients to invest in cryptocurrency, it's grown. Um, so there was an article where, you know, it grew a couple percent and people were like, oh, well, you know, still 85% of them don't recommend it. Well, there's a simple answer. 85% don't recommend it because some are limited. Some can only recommend regulated assets. And since the SEC has not regulated cryptocurrency yet, they've shot themselves in the foot they are unable to recommend cryptocurrency unless unless it's a regulated Bitcoin ETF, which is still not the same thing as investing into Bitcoin or Ethereum. Now, going up from 9 to 15% is a pretty big jump because financial advisors cannot be risk takers. Usually it's going to be elderly. Usually it's going to be investors who have a decent amount of money and just are busy and have good jobs and they don't have time to be looking at their investments. So they'd rather pay an investment advisor a percentage to manage their portfolio and hopefully all goes well. And that's fine. You know, uh, maybe the easiest route would be at that point just to go into an index fund and avoid the personal advisor. But uh, if you've got millions of dollars, then maybe it does make sense. You know, maybe if you're running a small little family office, but at that point you don't need a personal advisor. You have kind of your own guys. Still, there's some people that might need this. And, you know, it's a good service as long as you find the right people. If you find the wrong people, you could lose a lot of money. And financial advisors, no reputation is everything. With a bad reputation, you're not going to get a lot of clients. And your clients are going to be pretty upset if you lose the money. You know, maybe you have a, a bad year. But if you continually do that, or you have a really bad year, which sometimes in cryptocurrency, they don't want to be very upset. That's why they won't go for something that's extremely volatile. At least in their eyes. Out of a survey of 600 financial advisors, 15% of them would allocate usually 5% or less of their clients' portfolios into crypto, up from 9% a year ago and 6% two years ago. Most of them can't 
because of regulation. Advisors can recommend only regulated investments and there's still a regulatory fog over crypto. So many advisors just steer clear. For other advisors, the volatility and risk are the issue. While the volatility may not dissuade the young investors who can afford to take big risks, it's different for investors who have already spent years building a nest egg. Most of Mr. Russell Wayne's clients at Sound Asset Management are in their late 50s or early 60s. They shouldn't be taking on risk because they're wanting to have a nice, stable portfolio. They want to lay off risk and they want to, and even though he understands how crypto operates, he still thinks it's too risky for his clients. For a lot of financial advisors, crypto is a great way to gain new clients from the younger generation, but from the older generation, it's a little bit tougher to actually convince them into it. So a lot of financial advisors are now taking the time to educate themselves about crypto because they understand that over the next couple of years, a lot more of their clients will want to access this. And that's fantastic. You know, it is going to take a while and eventually the SEC and the U.S. government will get on board. There will be regulated points for Bitcoin and Ethereum that aren't just ETFs. And at that point, you're going to see a lot of institutional investors get on board. Now, things take time. It is slow, and unfortunately, it's going to take many years. But every single year, the amount of financial advisors recommending is growing. And already, a couple percent increase is huge. Now, there was another survey that found that about 30% of advisors expect to recommend crypto at some point in the future. So, we finished the week off with seven units sold in five days. Not so bad. Over two and a half grand earned actually not bad at all so that'll help pay rent and a couple other things after taxes are taken out uh, thanks so much for watching today's video have a great rest of your day i'm very excited very happy about what the future has to entail for the rest of this year cryptocurrency is the way to go this is my excited face so have a great rest of your day peace